the first thing that we will have to do is click on the first three links that you will see in my description and comments. From there, you have to run all three links and it will install three exe files. You have to download all three exe files, which are going to be MongoDB Community Edition, .NET Runtime and ASP.NET Core. Once you're done with the exe files, you can now click the fourth link in the video, which will bring you to build six. All you have to do is go over here down and you have to download prospect client loader.exe and also the prospect server API. S2 stands for season two. So if you downloaded season two from the link in the pinned messages on Discord, you can download that. But if you have the cycle downloaded from Steam, then you will have season three. So you have to download prospect server API season three. Once you're done with that, all you have to do is extract the folder. So in my case, I called it season three tutorial. And if you have season two, don't worry, you can of course follow the same steps. So from here, all you have to do is click on generate SSL.exe. Once you did that, you will see press enter to exit. Press enter, to exit, and over here, you will have a new file. It will be called certificate PFX. So all you have to do is open the certificate. And over here, you have to press next three times. So next, next, next. And then over here, place all certificates in the following store. Browse, trusted root certification authorities. Okay. Next, finish. Make sure that over here it says play Fababi. It does. So press yes. The import was successful. Okay. For your next step, you will have to open up a new notepad in administrator mode. Make sure it's in administrator mode or else it will not work. So go to file, open, and then from here, you can scroll all the way down until you see this. Over here, go to Windows, Windows. System32, Drivers, ETC, and once you're in the ETC folder, all you will have to do is on your right, bottom right, you will see text documents txt. Just press on that and go all files. Over here, you just have to press on hosts and press open. Now you'll have your host. Once you're in your host file, you should see something like this. Once you're here, go down in my description or in the comments and you have to copy IP. Once you did that, go to localhost over here, press shift and enter to go down one line and then press control V to copy it. Now you will have your new IP over here. After you did that, of course, make sure that there is no hashtag or else it will not work. Go to file. And see. now you have to go into your the cycle folder. If you have season three, which you downloaded from Steam, all you have to do is go on Steam in your library, press the little gear icon, then go to manage and browse local files, and this will pop up. Well, if you downloaded season two, just open the folder. Make sure, of course, that it is extracted. Once you did that, go over to prospect, binaries, Windows 64. Then you over here, you have to make a new file. So press right click on an empty space. Over here, press new text document and write steam underscore app ID. Do not write txt. Since I already have one, I named mine steam app ID test, but you do not have to include test, okay? Do not put it. It's going to be steam underscore app ID. That's it. Then. You have to open up your file and once you open it up over here you have to write 480 then just go file and save once you're done with that just grab your prospect client loader which we downloaded from the fourth link put it in this folder so the cycle prospect binaries win 64 and after you did that you have to make a shortcut to the prospect client loader now, you can put the shortcut wherever you want, because this is what you will need to actually run the game. So you can put it in your desktop, you can put it to the start, you can pin it in your Windows bar, you can put it wherever it's most comfortable for you. Once you're done with that, all you have to do is go back to the Prospect Server API, which again, either Season 2 or Season 3, it doesn't matter. Scroll all the way down until you see Prospect Server API.exe. Click on that one until you see this. If you have this, then everything went successful. 
If for some reason the prospect server API.exe doesn't stay open, well then you did something wrong in the installation of your certificate. So please try doing it again. Now you can run the prospect client loader shortcut that you just made. Of course, make sure that you first run the prospect server API. Once you open that, it will automatically open the game for you. You are now in the game. Welcome to the frontier again. <laughs> if, of course, you want to have items like I do, you can just follow a tutorial that I have on my YouTube, which you will see probably somewhere in the screen right now. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Hope that was clear. And welcome back to the Fortuna. I wish you guys the best. Bye.